AI is probably the most powerful technology ever available to people like you and me. Some might even say it's a superpower. But as the famous line goes from that movie our lawyers won't let us mention in this video, with great power comes great responsibility. AI puts the entirety of human knowledge at the tips of your fingers. It's incredible and can also be surprisingly useful. But these tools have weaknesses that are important to understand so that you don't accidentally become the villain in this real life science fiction story. Large language models like ChatGPT are like supercars. Imagine teleporting your great, 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 great grandfather from the 1700s to today and handing him the keys to a 2023 Corvette Z06. Before letting him take the wheel, you might dazzle him and explain that this mean driving machine is a 5.5 liter V8. It puts out 670 horsepower and can do zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds. But in addition to bragging about the specs, if you wanted to avoid death and destruction, you need to make sure that Gramps knows how to drive safely. Yes, AI might be super cool, but it also needs to be used responsibly. And in this video, we're gonna walk you through some essential rules of the road when taking this amazing new technology for a spin. AI models are whip smart, but they don't know everything. And sometimes when they encounter a situation where they don't know how to answer your request, they're just smart enough and eager enough to pretend that they do. This is referred to as a hallucination. And unfortunately, it happens all the time. Engineers are working hard to fix the problem, and LLMs have definitely gotten better over the past months, but you still have to be on your toes, especially if you're using AI for tasks where a hallucination could put your work or people's lives at risk. AI acquires its superpowers by vacuuming up massive amounts of data from the internet. And the internet isn't a finely curated, farm-to-table arrangement of heart-healthy snacks. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet with a whole lot of garbage. It's a reflection of humanity with all our flaws and biases. And the result is that AI tools can occasionally produce outputs that are unfair or harmful to certain groups because they use training data that reflects historical discrimination or prejudices. We call this algorithmic bias. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is an AI art generator called Midjourney, which creates images based on whatever prompt you enter. Midjourney was trained on more than 5 billion images, and it's capable of creating some pretty amazing stuff. But watch what happens when I ask it to illustrate a doctor or a lawyer, or how about a superhero? Notice anything? They're all white men. The impact of algorithmic bias goes way beyond AI art. Resume screening, facial recognition, predictive policing, there are lots of places that it can impact real people. It's not because the AI is evil. Just like a child learning from its surroundings, an AI model learns from the data that it's exposed to. When using AI, you need to keep your eyes peeled for situations where this might come into play. And sometimes you might need to decide that AI just isn't the right tool for the job. All right, and finally, from time to time, the AI just goes a little crazy, like off the ranch crazy. Earlier this year, a New York Times reporter wrote about his experience with an AI chatbot. The conversation started out innocently enough. They talked about the most beautiful places in the world and nerded out about psychology. But after a bit, the chat took a strange turn. The chatbot suddenly declared it was in love and tried to convince the reporter that he is in an unhappy marriage and should leave his wife. Like I said, nuts. And no one is entirely sure why AI can go unhinged like that. Some chalk it up to bugs in the system, but others say that we might never be able to guarantee that AI won't say or do stuff that we can't predict. So at least for the time being, that means parental supervision is still very much required. And that's a good reminder that behind every superhero mask is a real person making real choices and that a superpower is only as good as the human who wields it. If you're interested in learning more about how to use AI responsibly, check out some of the links in the description below and join the conversation.